How can I dilate figures on a coordinate plane and prove similarity? So we've talked about transformations. So far we've talked only about rigid transformations. And that's where you end up with a congruent or basically all your sides and angles are exactly the same. You essentially have the same shape you started with. That's congruent. Versus today we're going to talk about a dilation, which is a non-rigid transformation. And that's where you have a similar figure. That means that the ratio of your sides are the same, your angles are the same, but the size of the shape is either kind of shrunk, is enlarged or shrunk. So a dilation will either grow or shrink by a scale factor. So very simply, if I have a triangle with sides three, four, and five, if I multiply that by a scale factor of two or grow it, it would be, the three would become a six, four would become an eight, and five would become a 10. So I have the same three to six, four to eight, five to 10. You have a scale factor of two there with all the sides. Or you might shrink it by having a scale factor that's a fraction, such as one half. Where you could say three times one half is 1.5, or three divided by two is 1.5, four divided by two is two, and five divided by two is 2.5. So this triangle, again, would be shrunk, a shrunk version of that, because my scale factor is one half and I would grow it if I had a scale factor of two. Now what that created for us here was similar figures. So with these similar figures, we start out with this three, four, five triangle, and when I grow it, I have six, eight, and 10. So these side lengths are different. It's not congruent, it's not exactly the same, but they're very similar in that the, the three goes to the six, times two, four times two is eight, and five times two is 10. You have the same scale factor, or kind of like there's a ratio between the sides, the corresponding sides within each shape, and it's called similar. One's just bigger or smaller, but your angles end up being the same, and your sides just are either larger or smaller than the other. Another way is if you shrink it, again, it would be a similar figure because three divided by two is one half, four divided by two is two, five divided by two is 2.5, and that makes them similar figures. All right, so let's take practice at a dilate, dilating a figure here. If you dilate, a lot of times on the coordinate grid, you're going to dilate centered at the origin here. And whenever you're centered at the origin, it's actually pretty easy to mathematically dilate something. Um, you can just take your original coordinates, like we have an ABC here, and you use a scale factor of two, you just multiply everything by two. So if I have a scale factor of two and I'm dilating this triangle starting at the origin, I would do A would just multiply all my coordinates by two. So it would be negative two comma two would be A prime. So if I go negative two up two, it's gonna be A prime. B would be two times two is four, two times one is two. So B would be four two. So the over four up two would be B prime. A and C would be two times two is four, two, negative two times two is negative four. This would be C prime, so over four, down one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be right here in the middle of this. B, C prime, we have this triangle. And this would be if we were centered at the origin, this line would actually, it looks like it's actually gonna overlap there as well. Um, and this would be the dilation or like the, the growth of this original triangle here. And all I had to do is multiply each one of my coordinates by two. My scale factor was two. If you were doing a fractional one, you could just divide them by it or multiply by the fraction. And that would work as well. All right. Sometimes you'll be asked to check the similarity of figures. Ah. And when you check the similarity of figures, you are looking to see, look at the ratio of my sides. So, all right, still on camera here. All right, so this one here, we got a side length of one, two, three. So we have a rectangle, so these are both three. This is two, and this is two. This shape appears to have a side length down here of one, and this would be one, and this appears to be one, one and a half. So we're gonna say 1.5 and 1.5. This uh, rectangle has a side length of two. two. Oh, this is a square. Everything is two. So when I look here, I can tell you that a square and this rectangle, they're not gonna be similar because the three to the two 
and then the two to the two, this is two times one, and then three times one is not two, so they're not similar. However, if I go from here to here, three times one half is 1.5, so these side, this side and this side would be one point, would be times one half, and two times half is one. Or you could go to start here and dilate this, one times two is two, and 1.5 times two is three. So these two sides correspond to these two, and this is just, the red is just an enlargement of the blue, or the blue is a shrinking of the red, depending on how you start. But either way, these two end up being similar um, quadrilaterals, and this one is not similar because it does not share that same ratio with the sides.